This video will show you how to glue uh, your watercolor on watercolor paper onto one of these wood panels. The first thing you're going to want to do is to sand the board. When you receive them from the store, you'll notice that the edges are not quite crisp or very clean. So you're going to use some sandpaper, 300 grit, as these birch panels are quite soft. Anything harder will uh, cause you to lose the square edges. So what you want to do is just rub it against the sides and flat. So stay flat and then you'll maintain your nice shape with the board. Once your board is sanded, you're ready to prepare the uh, wood panel. I use a product uh, made by Golden, it's called GAC 100, and it's going to seal the wood panel and prepare it for the following glues and uh, applications. And you only need to do this to the top, so you just twist the top, squirt it on, and then use an old brush and just rub it, make sure the whole panel, top of the panel, is covered uh, with this product and uh, it covers fairly easy and you want to make sure you don't miss any area and then you let it dry for a while. After the uh, GAC 100 product is dried you'll notice that the surface of the board is quite rough and that will help adhere also uh, the paper adhere to the surface. Now the next stage is to paint the sides black. As you can see, I've already painted this one. Uh, I normally use a golden uh, black and apply it liberally uh, around all four sides. And I apply two coats of the black and it gives it a beautiful finish at the end. Now that I have my wood panel all prepared, it's been protected, it's been sealed at the top, and I've got a couple of coats of black paint. Uh, we're going to need to glue this wood surface to this painting. So as you can see, uh, you have to figure out how to transfer uh, the markings of your painting, the outlines of your painting, to the back so we can affix the two together. Now here is my method. Using a long ruler and a pencil, I use the lines of the board. Uh, oftentimes I'll have to re-put the board on top and draw on the outside to make sure I have the right boundaries of the box. So I'll use, uh, you probably can't see very closely, but I've got the outline here of the box. So this is the size of my box. What I do is I take a long ruler and then I mark the extensions uh, just the corners. So I'll mark this all around the painting. I'll mark where uh, the lines extend right to the end. The next step is I take a pair of scissors and I just cut the tip of the paper, just create a little notch all the way around. So I end up with, uh, so eight notches uh, at the end. Uh, and then, then we move on to the back of the painting and where I take my notches, and I've fixed, placed my ruler between the two notches and draw lines. And so I line them up carefully and then I draw the line and voila. Uh, this tells me exactly where I'm going to put the wood panel once it is glued. So that's how I transfer and I make sure that the wood panel lands in the middle of my painting. We're now getting closer to finish this project. Uh, next step is to glue the panel to the back of the painting. 
And the product I use for this is the Golden Soft Gel product. So this step is fairly easy. You just put a generous amount of painting of a soft gel on the back of the panel, brush it around. It's mostly important to ensure you have sufficient of this product, a sufficient product uh, on the sides because you don't want the product to lift. You don't want the panel to lift from the painting. So I normally put it all over. Because I use a heavy watercolor paper, a 300 pound, uh, I can put lots of this because the paper will not buckle or create any problems. I have had a couple of issues with the 140 pound paper. When I apply too much gel, it goes right through the paper and in one case it did buckle, but that was only in one case. But uh, I would still be careful if you're using a lighter paper. So as you can see, I'm putting it quite thick on the board, uh, brushing to the outside to make sure there's lots of uh, glue on the outside. And then once I believe I've got all the surface, I go back and I brush, uh, I brush the outside to make sure I've covered everything, especially the corners. All right, as you can see, whoops, here you go. So lots on the outside. And then the rest is fairly simple. I just turned the board over, put it right in that square I've just drawn, and then leave it for a few seconds. Uh, you can slide it over, make sure there's no air bubbles, turn it back, make sure it's still aligned, and then I would put something heavy. I actually normally get the weights from the gym, put it on the corners, and then I let it sit there overnight. Now we're going to cut off the excess paper from the outside of the wallboard. Uh, to do this, we're going to be using a uh, utility knife with a fresh blade. Uh, so you're going to line up the blade against the uh, the side of the wall board, the, the wall panel, and you're slowly going to cut. Uh, you can see it takes a few cuts to do this. Make sure you're not using wall, um, cardboard or other surfaces underneath because you won't get a crisp cut for this. For this last video, we're going to talk about this, what happens to the sides. As you can see, once the edges are cut, and this is a 300 pound watercolor paper, you've got this stark white edge against the black. So what I normally do is I go back to my golden uh, carbon black paint, uh, use a small brush, dip it very lightly in here, and let me see if I can get this under here. So I apply very carefully just to the side. If I could just do this now while the camera's going. And I just, I just, gently as you can see, that edge is coming off and uh, the white will no longer show once I've combed all around. So it's a bit tedious and you gotta be super careful, but uh, this is what it would look like. As you can see, the edges are all coming black. So if anybody looks at it while hanging, uh, they don't see the white of the paper.